here we go. All right. <laughs> Well, our happy video took a turn for the worst. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go, another big video. Hopefully you guys are out there having a great day. We're starting off in the garage because my neighbors like to do yard work and honestly I should be doing it right now. It's such a lovely day, but Today, it's all about this right here. More power, finally, yes. Uh, you guys have seen in the past videos, subscribe, notification bell on, because here we go. This is the start of what this car is all about. RPG built, 5-2 block, Odin supercharged, but it starts here. Our friends at Wingard Performance Tuning have sent us a brand new file, E85. Up until this point, up until this video, we have only been on 93 pump gas with the 88 millimeter big pulley. Very impressed that it put down 744 horsepower on 93 pump gas. But that's just not enough. It's never enough, is it? It's all about this right here, E85, yes. In full disclosure, we did work through some data logging last night. We already have a tank of E. Uh, to get the first drivability stuff out of the way, but this is our new hotness, our new revision right here. Get on the road and take it for a test drive. We're gonna do some more data logging. We gotta do some half throttle pulls and there's some other things I need to talk to you guys about, but this is the start of it. You have a 69 millimeter pulley ready to go on this blower under this hood. That's gonna be our party pulley. So we wanted something in between. 850, 900 horsepower range, daily driven pulley size from Grip Tech. That's, I'm so excited that's actually getting delivered today, but I digress. Let's load this up and get on with the video. More power, yes. Very excited about this. So last night we didn't really get to enjoy much because it was just step revs and uh, just a little bit of, you know, soft, like, you know, below 50 mile an hour data logging. What we're gonna do is turn everything off, turn our big old ice tank off. And I've got to pull a fuse in the engine bay before we do this so we don't drain battery. So excited for E85. Horn of fuel, baby. There we go. So like I said, this 88 millimeter pulley, which is the one that you get with the Odin Supercharger from VMP, is getting replaced in the next day or so. I don't know. Might actually do it tonight and uh, have a video ready for you guys here in the next day or two. So make sure you're subscribed because it's gonna be saucy. So speaking of sauce, this is a RPG built 5.2 block. So kind of a cool special combination that you guys are aware of, we've already talked about in videos, but this tune should be the spice. It should be a little bit saucy. We can do that because we have a built motor. What we're gonna do now, we do have our key. We're gonna cycle key on and we're gonna go through and we're gonna load our new tune. Tuning. Load tune, E85, flash a vehicle, yeah, six minutes. And uh, we are off to the races here, guys, so excited. While this is initializing and flashing, it takes a few minutes, I'm gonna really quickly talk about something. Well, check this out. If you guys missed the last video, I, I, I don't know where you've been. Again, make sure you're subscribed and the notification bell is turned on because you're missing content. Been having fun, we've been doing a lot of mods to this car and I don't want you to miss them. But something else that I don't want you to miss is my good friend, if you don't know by now, I don't know, again, don't know where you've been. Good friend of mine, Stang Mode. You guys know him. Well, I'm personal friends with him. You guys know that. But he's asked me to reach out to my audience here, you guys watching, let you know, advise you that you only have like two or three days left by the time of this video. Today is the 20th of July, 2021. All right, guys, let's give our giveaway number eight the test it needs. This is a Whipple supercharged drag wheel Mustang, which you can win by going to stangmo.com for $1 entry. But now it's time. It's time to put up or shut up. It's time to see what this can do with the drag strip. 90 degree heat. All right, guys, we did it. How do you like that? 10.5 in this heat. That's faster than a stock Hellcat and faster than the 2020 D2 500, which is like... These are almost $100,000 cars, where you can get this car for just $1. Go to stangmo.com, grab some merch, and to win this killer. All you gotta do is head over to stangmo.com and you can use promo code XANDER13 to save money for more entry. And this is, in my opinion, this is like 
the one to get. This is my favorite build that he's done so far, but you're gonna miss it unless you head over there and maybe buy a t-shirt or some stickers or something like that. But remember, Xander 13 promo code. That way you guys can save money. I don't want you to miss out on an opportunity. I love my supercharged Mustang and I know that you guys would too. But anyway, I digress. Just a couple of days left. Head over to stangmode.com. Use promo code Xander13. All right, back to my video now, 85. See, all that time talking about giveaway, and this is where we're at. So, <laughs> all right, we're halfway there. All right, we'll pick it back up when it's done. All right, that thing is almost done. So much we can do in just a few minutes, but I might as well take the time and show you what we got coming next. Heavy duty tensioner. Gotta have it for anything smaller than a 79 millimeter pulley. But here is the goodies. So I have another one of these coming today. This one here is the 69 millimeter. And I have not shown this on camera yet, I don't think. This is it. This is our Grip Tech 69 millimeter pulley look at that this is what's going to be called our kill pulley <laughs> so this is rated for like 21 pounds or something like that and then uh, eventually when we work up to this we're probably going to do a uh, ati balance or some sorts i don't not really sure yet a 10 percent, maybe 15 or maybe even a 20 percent overdrive this is a built engine so it can handle the power uh this engine's rated for 1400 wheel oh and it's done our tune is loaded successful we're going to shut the car off for 10 seconds. So we have another one coming today. Stay tuned for the next video because we're going to install all of this stuff with the other pulley. This one I will probably reserve for later on. We're going to work our way up to it. It's almost like sandpaper. Just in comparison, you can see the size difference there. That thing down there, the 88 is absolutely massive and this is tiny in comparison. So we have one in between that's coming, going to get delivered today. We're really excited to install all of this stuff. Now we have E85. So I think that we'll be pretty close to 800. Leave your guesses down below like what do you think the power will be on the 88 millimeter pulley with just E85 in the tank because we could have really be spicy with the timing and, and crank it up you know on 93 pump gas we were limited and I've never I've never splashed it up until this point with like boostane or anything like that so but anyway that's in the past now we're on E85 the good stuff it's going to be crazy how this car feels especially on the street with a TVS blower it's going to hit hard but here we go. First start, E85. I'm very excited. Well, it's not, it's not the first start. Uh, we did it last night, but this is our first cold start. Our first honest, truthful cold start on E85. Let me turn everything back on. Here we go. All right. Well, our happy video took a turn for the worst. So, guys, check it out. Behind me, we have a white uh, Super Duty F250. And why? Why the gloom face? Now, um, honestly, I wasn't even going to release this video, but I, I'm going to anyway to help out my buddy Stang Mode. I need to get the word out for his giveaway so that you guys have an opportunity to win your own supercharged Mustang. And I just kind of feel like it's right. So, hey, yeah, not everything is, you know, not everything is a song and dance when we modify these cars. What happened? So the car fired up. No issue there with the tuner or the tune or anything like that. The car, I actually watched the fuel trims. They looked a lot better than the way that they have been. So um, it looks like that new revision is going to be pretty good. But it seems like what happened is that the N-gauge, this N-gauge has actually been toying with me a little bit. You have to, it, it doesn't want to seat all the way. Well, it seats on the, the OBD2 port, but it's got to be just right or it won't fully connect to the vehicle. So this is a, every time that you flash a PCM, you're taking a risk that you might corrupt uh, something if, it, if you lose connection. Uh, the car took the tune successfully. You know, you guys saw, but um, it seems like what has happened is that now, I don't know. I don't know. I've been talking to my buddy Ken. We've been talking with the tuner. We've been talking to some, just everybody about what's going on. It threw a P, uh, where's my phone? What, what is this? I got to hang on. See, so, yeah, it's thrown a P163F. Transmission ID block corrupted, not programmed. So what we think happened is that while the tune got updated into the car, like it should have been, it, did, it was successful that maybe at some point, I don't know, it lost connection, which doesn't really make sense to me because it did take the tune. However, um, 
don't know. But if you look up this code online, it's common. It's not really common, but it is like it's happened. It, it can happen. So the way to fix it is we need access to Ford IDS. We need a mechanic at this point to go in there and wipe that PCM completely clean and reload it and then put the new tune and everything on it. Well, so we'll do a new stock file with the latest calibration that Ford has for 2019 Ford Mustang, uh, read a new stock file, send it off the tuner, and he will rewrite that with the latest revision and we should be good to go. Or we're buying a PCM, which we hope that, you know, it doesn't come to that. So my buddy Ken thinks that, uh, hey, uh, it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, but he thinks that he can fix it. So we're going to take our rent a truck over here <laughs> back to Ken Speed Addicts Neck of the Woods. He's three hours away. And my uh, my other buddy, uh, Steve, you guys remember him on Serpent Stings. He's going to let me borrow his trailer. So, guys, we need a truck and trailer at this point. If you're messing with cars like we do, I think we can all agree that we need a truck and trailer. So, I don't know, man. Every time that I do something or fix something, it seems like it's just never ending. Half the time that I own it, I want to take this car and like drive it off in the woods and leave it. I'm honestly just being over dramatic. So these things can happen. It's unfortunate, but yeah, I really wanted to get you guys some, some cool footage, man. But I think we're going to have to push it off a couple of days. We got to, you know, troubleshoot some issues. And uh, like I said, not everything is a song and dance, especially, you know, with the history of this car. Uh, it, it's always something. But I appreciate you guys watching. Get ready, though. Get ready. Because like I showed you in the beginning, we do have more pulleys. Uh, we are now on E85. It does start. It does. I can drive it. The car will drive. I do want to say that. The car will be limited to, I think, like first and third gear. So can I limp this thing under a trailer? Yes. And that's where it needs to go. On a trailer back to a mechanic that uh, can wipe the slate clean give it a fresh reset and then we should be good to go at that point but i appreciate you guys watching again sorry for the bad news um but we will get it fixed it's it's kind of out of our hands so as far as the engage goes um i don't know why it did what it did they don't even make these engages anymore so it's not like i could buy a new one for cheap anyway the ones that are still around so we're probably going to have to go to the new RTD device and uh, that so far when we've used them before with uh, data logging on the dyno and stuff like that, um, I don't own one, I had to borrow one, but it hooks up to the OBD2 port with tremendous success so we had no issues. So I think that that's what we're going to have to do is uh, just buy one of those and go from there. But the, and then I can just use the N-Gage to monitor, but we're not gonna tune through the N-Gage anymore because this is actually the second cable that I've had on this device. And um, like I said, I, it took the tune uh, successfully, so I don't know what happened, but you know, it is software at the end of the day. So can things go wrong? Can they get bugged out? Yeah, but unfortunately with this kind of a problem, a software glitch like that will take down a vehicle until it's uh, rewritten and corrected. So, all right, I'll leave you guys, <laughs> I can leave you at that. Stay tuned to the channel. Hopefully we'll have some better news in the next one and we'll be uh, out there making some street hits. So I appreciate you guys and I'll see you later. God bless you and goodbye.